Selwyn Frederick Mudu is one of New Zealand's senior Māori artists, an accomplished writer, broadcaster, teacher, actor, storyteller, musician, fisherman, gardener and repository of tribal knowledge. The list goes on really. He's 85 years old and until now has never had a major retrospective dedicated to his body of work. Now an exhibition celebrating his pioneering legacy and leadership has opened at the New Zealand Portrait Gallery in Wellington this month. Selwyn Mudu, a life's work curator, Moana Nipia joins me now. Kia ora. Kia ora. Tell us, how does this exhibition tell the story not only of Selwyn's life, but the community and times he lived in? Well, it is, uh, has a focus on portraiture, being at the New Zealand Portrait Gallery. Um, so that helped to prioritise which works would be in the, in the show. Um, when you first enter the gallery, you encounter work that acknowledges his whakapapa to Ngāti Kuri, a painting of Maunga Piko at Kapuwairua. And on the, in the far side of the gallery is another collection of drawings he did for a documentary on the Matatua Waka, honouring his whakapapa on his mother's side to Ngāti Rehia, who of course have connections elsewhere in Ngāpui and through to uh, Bay of Plenty. So there is this framing, if you like, um, commencing with his whakapapa, but also acknowledging people who are important to him in his life, some self-portraits, portraits of um, whanaunga, friends, um, work colleagues important to him from his relation, the poet Hone Tufare, also from the north, uh, Fina Kupa, whom he was very fond with and admired for her leadership, um, and um, there's another work that he, uh, he painted with the words of one of Hone's poems, um, Papa Tuanuku, Earth Mother, we are stroking, caressing the wrecked back of the land. You know, a beautiful kōrero from Hone, um, memorialised in paint. Um, this work was uh, dedicated to Colin McCann, someone who, was, uh, uh, who died in the year that he painted this um, painting and who'd also used a lot of text in his work. Um, so th threaded through the exhibition are all these connections and uh, stories, if you like, works clustered around uh, different people, different times, moments in his life and themes that he returned to throughout his life. How did the exhibition come about and what was it like working with him? I presume you kind of worked directly with him to, to assemble this exhibition? Someone's now 85 and he's in full-time care, but we've been talking about this exhibition for many years. Um, my relationship with Sowen goes back to the 1970s when I was um, uh, actually at um, medical school and made a transition to becoming a, um, an artist. And at that time, uh, at Ngā Puna Waihanga, they were very encouraging of young artists, the senior artists like Selwyn, like Sandy Adset, like Darcy Nicholas, others of that generation, Para, um, Cliff Whiting, um, were, a lot of them were involved in education and they were also encouraging of, of young artists. So, and I made a transition from medicine into dance and um, had opportunities through Ngā Puna Waihanga um, some years later, when my father died, he, he made a special um, a mention, uh, Waiwaiwa Puruporaki, at one of those Ngā Puna Waihanga Hui. Some years later, he married my mother, so he's my stepfather, and has been like a mentor to me in my own creative career as well, including my time spent at art school in London, where he visited, um, and... Yeah, so we've had conversations about art, and I've, it's something I've always said to him, you need to have a major respect of so on. Um, but um, although he's been well represented in national exhibitions and touring exhibitions of Māori art, he's never had a major monograph or a, an exhibition dedicated to him. So this, this project's a small attempt to address that void. Are you yeah. hopeful? Is is he going to visit? Is he going to be able to? I understand he's in care, but is he going to be able to visit the exhibition at all? Is that is that the hope? 
There's a possibility that may may happen in Wellington. Te Pukinga Whakata, the New Zealand Portrait Gallery, is in Wellington, but it travels from there to the Pa Homestead and opens during the Auckland Arts Festival next year in March, where it will run for some time and then go to the Millennium Gallery in Blenheim. So it's the start of a mini tour. And um, we've kept someone in the loop with video and um, photog- photographs of what's been happening and run ideas past him for verification. And some things he's quite open and says, that was so long ago, I can't remember. And, but other things he's very, very clear. So to have Kōrero about his art with him has always been a, um, a great, great privilege, privilege and a pleasure. Yeah. Mean uh, Moana Nipia curator uh, Selwyn Mudu and, and a family Fano affair we know now too. Thank you so much for your time with us and we hope people uh, obviously get to the exhibition. Yes, thank you very much.